Morning everyone, I'm Jim Donovan with your morning digital news brief for Friday, November 8th. A historic appointment for President-elect Trump's team, Susie Wiles, has been named as Trump's White House Chief of Staff. She is the first woman ever to hold that position. Philadelphia City Council members will hold eight days of public hearings before they vote on the legislation needed to build the new arena for the Sixers at Market East. The first hearing is next Tuesday. You can sign up to voice your opinions or concerns. You can see the full schedule on CBSPhiladelphia.com. The portal at Love Park is on the move, but it's not going far. Crews are working to relocate it to make room for the Christmas Village in Center City. According to the website, the portal will return to Love Park, but will now be next to the Philadelphia Independence Visitor Center. That's near the Flying Saucer Building at the corner of 16th Street and JFK Boulevard. Now let's get a check of the next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Kate Bylo. Thanks so much, Jim. We have a next weather alert today because of high fire danger. Once again, a, a red flag warning has been issued for the area. It goes through 6 o'clock. Winds will gust as high as 30 miles an hour today, coupled with relative humidity that is dropping as the day goes on. And the dry conditions have already made our area a tinderbox. And today's winds and low humidity leading again to the risk of rapid fire spread. There are a number of wildfires currently burning and threatening structures in our area, and they are going to be tough to contain through the afternoon. And then a secondary cold front is going to come through tonight. That'll knock the temperatures down a bit for the weekend. It'll keep the winds a bit strong. The wind's not as strong tomorrow as today, but still some elevated fire risk to start your weekend. Today's high 71 sunny and windy with that high fire danger. Much cooler tomorrow back to where we should be for November. We'll have highs near 60 and then finally some much needed rain in the forecast. Not today or tomorrow it stays dry. You can see that cold air draining in from the north throughout the day tomorrow. Clouds will increase early Sunday. You'll wake up to some cloud cover, kind of a cloudy day. Most of the day is dry, but by late afternoon, here comes that elusive rain. It has been 40 plus days since we've seen rain, and it looks like some potentially steady rain Sunday night into early Monday morning. We could pick up as much as a half inch to three quarters of an inch in spots, which we desperately need. So finally, some rain should end our record dry streak, and then we're bright and sunny. We'll warm up again later in the afternoon on Veterans Day Monday. Jim, back over to you. Thank you, Kate. And remember, you can always get Kate's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Jim Donovan. Make it a great day.